what I have discovered is, you know, whoever the people are that are already working, the UFC, the people that are already working, the conventions, the people that are doing good for themselves, those are should be your friends. And they're, they're my friends. So, like, if I get a job and um, there's a local cinematographer in town, and he's great. I love the guy. And so if I get a call and they're like, no, we need two camera guys to do this job, I'm going to just – I'm not going to put an ad out. I don't want to work with somebody I don't know. I'm going to call – the cinematographer and be like, dude, I trust you. I know you, I got this much money. Will you come help me? And then that's how it works. Mm -hmm. I, I think since the beginning of business yeah. in the world, it's who, you know, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. So, um, what, uh, what people are doing is they're starting these crewing companies and they're starting these businesses and they don't do anything. They just pick up the phone and they do marketing mm -hmm. and then they still call somebody like me or somebody else and be like, Hey, well, I got this job. I need to, you know, but, um, what I do and I, I, what I hope everybody does is as long as you set the rates that are fair for everyone and just stick to them mm -hmm. because I've had jobs where people call me and they're, and they're, they're trying to like, you know, dip Low their fingers you. in the pie. And I'm like, well, this is what, I, this is what would be the lowest rate for anybody in Vegas. And they, and they would say like, oh, we'll just get someone else. Like we'll get somebody lower. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And I've had clients call me and say, okay, all right, we're sorry. Like, we, we, you know, cause they spend $50,000 for one video shoot and they're trying to save 200 bucks on an audio guy or yeah. a camera guy. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, and then they, they get what they, you know, they're, they're squeezing the budget and then guess what? The, the shoot got screwed up or the footage got lost, you know? So that's why it's like, if you're good, charge what you're worth and, and stick to your guns and then clients that respect you will come back to you. So someone that doesn't know the people that you know, how do they get there? Is there networking events? Is there something like they can start doing? Um, I feel like the mixers, there's a lot of mixers in Vegas. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of talkers, I guess <laughs> I would call them. I don't Thanks. know. Uh, you know, I, I used to do red carpet events like crazy for Inside Edition and Extra. And there, there's always like the, the production assistant that's like getting coffee. And yeah. they'd be like, oh, I... I'm just doing this. To, Try to find those PA jobs. You know, and yeah, but they're, you know, they're telling me like, no, I produce, I produce a multi, uh, national, whatever reality show. It's like, dude, okay, well, well our, but you got my Starbucks order wrong. So <laughs> could you go back and get me the one with the cream and sugar? You know, there's all these talkers, but, um, if you'll meet somebody and you'll know, they're not, they don't tell you how many YouTube subscribers they have. They don't tell you what kind of social media they have. You could just tell that they work a lot and they do a lot and they don't, talk much you could just tell like oh this person you know and i think i think he mentioned something and someone else mentioned something he did the um uh, the billboard awards or something mm -hmm. and so make friends with them Start you know to use the, yeah uh -huh. like I, I think i'm a pretty nice guy and if, if somebody's a good person and i can trust on a 10-hour day with a client yeah of course i'll i'll consider you know hiring them or using them 